Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon, we are going to talk about a kind of energy boost that our physics has naturally contained. Our body has a natural flow of the energy, which is the most powerful energy we can say, even stronger than the boost of adrenaline. This is known as equinox. Equinox means the surge, the boost of our intrinsic, our internal energy. When the internal energy boost is actually felt, experienced by us, when we are in any kind of any kind of adverse or awkward situation, at that time the boost of energy comes to us to our rescue, and this boost of energy actually is known as equinox. Equinox, I have prepared four points to elaborate. Equinox, the surge of our internal, of our in intrinsic energy that always helps us whenever we need energy for anything. They say that it is our equinox that when the child is stuck under the wheel of the car and the mom is looking at the child, her child, mom is looking at her child stuck in the wheel under the wheel of the car, mom's equinox energy will come to the rescue of the kid. Mom will be able to pick up the car and get the kid to lose from the wheel of the car. Whole car, 8,000 pound car will be lifted up by mom, who is, she may be only 50 kilo. We cannot understand, we cannot expect, we cannot fathom, we cannot actually elaborate or amplify what actually happened, but only the scientists are going to tell that she had experienced the surge of equinox, and equinox actually came to her rescue. In simple language, we call it adrenaline, came to her rescue, and she lifted up the car when she saw that her son was stuck under the wheel of the car. That is equinox. I have created four points. The point number one is equinox makes us fickle or formidable. Both the personalities, we are weak or we are strong, fickle or formidable. Both the, both the personalities are actually developed by our equinox. If, we, if our body does not actually generate that much equinox, then we are fecal type of personality. We don't have aggression, we don't have zeal and zest, we don't have any kind of you know, strength or stamina, and we are like a meek type of, of, of absolutely fecal, absolutely poor, absolutely weak person. But if we have plenty of equinox surge, generated by our body that we are formidable in everything. Formidable in walking, talking, formidable in fighting, formidable in making love, formidable in every single thing, everything we are going to do aggressively. We are high achiever, we are hyper personality, just because of our equinox are actually hyper. But if equinox are hypo, we are hypo, we would be fickle type of personality, we can make a personality. Point number three is, sorry, number two is equinox is about aggression or about regression. Some people are aggressive, they, some people are going to push everybody and get ahead. Some people are very, very striving, they are toiling, they, 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 they have all kinds of energy to work, all kinds of strength, all kinds of synergy to work and achieve higher and a higher goal. These kind of aggressive people are also attributed to their equinox. So if your equinox is aggressive, you are going to be aggressive. And if your equinox is going to be regressive, you will be calm and composed like a lamb personality, not lionic personality, but lamb type of personality. All those people who are lionic, who have a lion heart, they are lion hearted, they are high achiever, they are movers and shaker, then they have only hyper surge of equinox, nothing else. And other type of people who are blamed, type of people who are not aggressive but regressive, they don't like to 
to be hyper achiever they would don't like to be b a type of personality but remain type b personality not type a but type b personality this kind of people have only hypo a lower count of equinox that's all the difference is high count of equinox you are aggressive and a lower count lower count of equinox we are regressive Point number three, equinox makes us man or microbe. Whatever we are, we are man of the man or main man or we are a small microbe that everybody can crush us, everybody can stomp on us, everybody can stamp us out. That kind of personality if you want, the microbial personality, they call it like microbe or like a man. So whether you are a man or microbe, both the things are decided by your equinox. It is our equinox that makes us main man, or a metro man, or a he man, or is it, our, it is our lower count of equinox, hypo equinox that makes us microbe. Point number four is equinox is our fundamental identity. You look at the person and you are impressed. That how come he is so energetic and how come so he is so aggressive and how come he has so much dipping energy and dripping energy and why that kind of person has so much strength and stamina? Then answer is only one word: equinox. That person who is type A person who who impresses you, who impresses everyone, and who is higher achiever, he may be like Bill Gates or Mukesh Ambani. Or Tata, Birla, Bajaj, Vaiprochi, Vajim Premji, that kind of people and us. There is no any difference between us and them. Difference only is equinox. Higher the equinox, higher the achievement, higher the attainment, higher the aggressive tendencies, higher the higher higher in every single thing. These kind of people are always ahead of everyone else because they are type A people. Type B people are those who have very low count of equinox. They are regressive type. They are slow. They are sluggish. They are slow to type. They are lethargic type. They don't want to achieve anything, and whatever they have, they are complacent with that. So they are complacent type of people. But hyper equinox, you are never complacent, but always aspirant type of person. Who would like to achieve higher and higher and higher ground, and again higher and higher and higher ground? Their end is infinite, or infinity is their end, and still there is no end for these kind of people. What these those people who have lower count of equinox, they are waiting for the day to end, and those people who have hyper hyper I should say hyper equinox. They never wait for the day to end. They don't want their day to end. So, because one kind is sluggish, other kind is those people who have a higher equinox. They are absolutely type A people who never want to stop, never want to quit, never want to relent, but they want to remain sustainable. And achieving the goal after goal after goal after goal after goal. So that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for listening. See you again some other time. God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.